Hi, uh, my name is Kyle Ingram. I'm the Stainless Engineering Manager. I've been with Webco for almost 13 wonderful years, and uh, I get to work amongst our stainless team and lead and, and uh, uh, just continue to innovate Webco's technical and trusted brand. And for those who don't really know, I hear that you run. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I, I kind of latched into running uh, at a young age. I played, I uh, was a competitive wrestler in baseball and uh, just created the foundation for just being physically fit and, and active. Kind of after college, I stopped playing competitive sports and I needed something to to keep me going and, and fulfill that competitive itch. And I, I chose running. I had a friend at the time who was running, his, his Jeremiah Taylor. He, he kind of got me into into running and I, I just latched onto it, realized it was a, a you versus you sport and loved that and competed with myself every day. and. I had a lot of fun with that. Gotcha. So was your first like official run a marathon, half marathon? What was that experience like training up to that point? Yeah, I, uh, my first official run uh, was a marathon, a full marathon. I just decided if I can do a half, I, I could probably do a full. And uh, so I, I committed to that. I had a goal of uh, doing four hours, um, which is around a nine minute mile pace. Uh, and I finished at 4.15. And, and I, I hit the wall, I bonked around mile 22, and I remember the fight for the last four miles, and I just had to do another one. You just had to do another one, you had I to did, break I that. I didn't meet my goal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it just kind of kept going from there. Um, around mile 20, you really start hating the marathon, and you, and you think, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? This would be the last one I ever do. But the next day you wake up having accomplished it, and you say, when's the next one? <laughs> it's kind of funny. How many marathons have you done in total? Um, I've done 15 marathons, 15. the 26.2 mile marathons. I've done several ultra marathons. Um, I've done a 100 mile trail run. Uh, I've done several obstacle course races. That's the Tough Mudder and the Spartan series. And they really, you know, they try to get you dirty and muddy and they shock you and they put you in ice water, all that stuff. How do you train for that, like mentally, that whole experience? What is that like? The, the mental part of it is just um, being disciplined in your training. Um, you know, wake up at 4.30 in the morning on a Saturday to go run 15 miles. That's a- uh, Haunting. Yeah, I don't think it's I can hard do to that. do. Yeah. It's hard to do uh, to get yourself out of that warm bed uh, to go do that. Um, but but if, if you can do that and you can create that discipline in your life, I think anybody could do anything they wanted, uh, any, any extent that they wanted. The, the body can be amazing. Yeah, so you've run quite a lot. And then I've also heard you've done two Ironmans. Yeah. Official, unofficially. Unofficially yeah. two, but officially one. Officially yeah. one. So what is an Ironman for people that don't know exactly what it is? Okay. So an Ironman is a 2.4 mile swim uh, leading right into a 112 mile bike and then a 26.2 mile marathon. Uh, so it's a 140.6 total miles that you have to do in a singular, singular event. And how I trained is to save my legs for the bike and the run as I, I did, pure, I purely swam with upper body. So I would literally just drag my legs. Uh, a friend and colleague, Kyle Heron, uh, taught me how to swim. I remember swimming in the pool and doing eight laps back and forth and being just gassed. Uh, this is 2.4 miles, that's 155 laps with just a few little technique changes. And I just crushed the swim. I swam an hour, 21 minutes, and an hour is like pro level. So I was very happy with my swim. And so then you transition to the bike and that's 112 miles. That's almost seven hours at an 18 mile an hour pace. Um, my goal was six hours to do it in six hours. Um, so it's just a six hour grind of just, you know, paying attention to every inch in the road because you're worried about a flat or a wreck or the person in front of you, 100% engaged and grinding. That was my least favorite part. And I remember when I signed up for the Ironman, I thought, I'm a runner and I can swim. Uh, and I can, I'll just buy a bike. Just buy a bike, and I, be I easy. rode a bike as a kid, like I can do that. And man, was I wrong. That is, that is, that is a biker's race. And all the techniques and tricks into biking too, uh, what a learning experience. Um, you know, after, after some marathons and some, some high level ultras, I just kept wanting to do the next hardest thing. And that, to me, that was an Ironman. And in 2019, they announced that they were gonna do one in Tulsa. The swim was in Keystone Lake, which is like 
a mile from my house. So I thought, oh, there's my sign. I have to do it. It's here in town. I have to do it. And I had a friend, a good friend, Jeremiah Taylor. He signed up to do it with me. So, um, so we kind of held each other accountable through the whole training period. But I trained for a full year in 2019. Uh, the event was supposed to be in May of 2020. COVID happened and they canceled that event two months before and I was ready to go. I was pumped up. I was, I was gonna crush the Ironman that year. What is the timing like? Like what's a good, I guess, goal for an Ironman? Well, uh, so the pro level, they'll finish in nine or 10 hours. Oh wow. You can see some even in the low eights, eight hours, but it's something like that. The first year in 2020, my goal was to finish in 12 hours and I probably could have done that. I was that in shape and just had a lot of energy and motivation. Um, and I, I, and of course, having trained all for a year to do that, even though it was canceled, I went ahead and completed the Ironman. Just, just on a Saturday morning? All by myself. Okay. Nobody, you know, everything shut down, so I just did it. I, I tried to do Ironman Florida and it got canceled. Um, so I had to wait a whole nother year for 2021 to do the Ironman Tulsa. So my goal in 2021 was to do 14 hours. And I did uh, 13 hours and 33 minutes. There you go. With you a flat tire, with, so. With a flat, <laughs> yeah. on your bike? On my bike, yeah, I had a flat tire. Seven miles to go. So, so how does that even work with a flat tire? Well, you gotta change it. Uh, you, you, you have it on your bike and okay. you, you, you're scrambling and you change the tire right there and you pick up you and just go. keep going gotcha so how did you keep that discipline that mindset of like this is something that I want to accomplish the the Iron Man isn't cheap uh, it's 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 quite a financial investment to do so that was one that's a, that's an easy motivation that you made this financial investment and you're you want to do it um, but it was more than that to me I made a commitment to do that and that's what I was gonna do and I'm just that kind of guy, and so I so I had to do it. Gotcha. So, what are are you training for anything right now? Is there another Ironman in the future, maybe? Um, I'm going to do an Ironman for my 50th birthday. Uh, that's going to be my midlife crisis fix. <laughs> my kids will be out of the house. I'll be an empty nester, and I'm going to have to have something uh, to do with my time. And so, I'm going to do Ironman Florida uh, for my 50th birthday. What would you tell somebody who is wanting to run, get into running, um, maybe wants to run an Ironman? Um, what would you tell them to encourage them to, you know, really pursue that? Because it it is a you on you kind of competition. Yeah, yeah, it starts right here, right in your mental strength and your discipline. Um, it it all it always comes down to that. You know, uh, in the runner's world, uh, the the time limit for an Ironman is 17 and a half hours. The people who get the most applause are the people finishing right at the nick of time. <clears throat> and that's so cool, right? Uh, uh, because you don't have to be the best. You don't have to be that. It's, it's you versus you, like you said. So if you, can, if you can make that commitment to yourself and be disciplined in your training, you can do it. Um, anybody can do it. Uh, setting a goal, achieving it, and doing something hard is, is amazing. I think there's a stat. I, I don't... Don't take this for. I think for it's zero point five percent of people complete an Ironman. Yeah, well, yeah. that's marathon. Oh, mar zero oh. point five is marathon. Oh, okay. Ironman is point zero 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 five percent. Okay. So wow. it's even less. Yeah. But so if you can put yourself into that category, you've done something, right? You've uh, you've really accomplished something amazing amongst the world population, and uh, how cool is that?